Welcome to IS at Speed of Light and uh, now we are going to start the second part of uh, Art and Culture of India. In the first part, we started with the basic definitions of Indian dancers, the basic terms associated with Indian dancing and then we moved on to the different Indian classical dancers. So now if I ask you what is Kuchipudi and what all the important things associated with them. So first thing Kuchipudi is Kachipudi. First thing is Andhra Pradesh Biryani and second is Tadannam. So important things about Kuchipudi. Similarly, if I ask you Jugalbandi is related with which dance, so it has to be Kathak. What are the different characters which are associated with Kathakali? So you, now you should be in the position to define the different characters like Pacha which are the noble characters like Kathi, the anti-hero characters, which uh, classical dance is similar to Bharat Natyam. Okay, so Mohini Attam. Mohini Attam is similar to Bharat Natyam. So Bharat Natyam, different stage of dances started with Alipadu, right? So if you remember that sequence of uh, uh, Bharat meeting Lord Ram, so you will be able to identify them. Uh, there are very very less chances that anything will be asked outside uh, of uh, these things what we have discussed but still there is uh, scope like uh, for you to uh, look for the current happenings. If anything comes in news in future, then you should be knowing it about these classical dances. Now we are going to start the second part of Indian dances and which is the folk and tribal dances. We are not going to cover all the folk and the tribal dances of India in this session and what I have told uh, in the last class, uh, we have selected some 70-75 important tribes of India and that we are going to give you as a written material. Uh, along with the important dances, festivals and the culture of uh, these different tribal forms of uh, India. So that will be the comprehensive part and that will be available by 15th of uh, December. Let's go now uh, with the four dances and our first state is going to be Jammu and Kashmir. Our picture for Jammu and Kashmir we already know is boat, a Kashmir boat, a dull lake boat. Some of the important four dances here is first one is Dumhal which is very important. Dumahal, it is performed by Vattal tribes. Now how to remember this? Dumahal, from Dumahal we get Dulhan. Dulhan uh, is a Hindi word for bride, okay, a newlywed woman. And Vattal tribe, from Vattal we get Vittal, Lord Vittal. I think all my Maharashtrian friends might be knowing Vittal, Vittal Bhagwan, Lord Vittal. So now these two pictures we have to link it with boat and now after going to so many mnemonic lectures now your mind should be tuned how to link different images now you see a uh, boat boat and you have to see the clear picture of that right a boat if you can see in your mind then a newlywed woman there and praying to Lord Vittal so in this way now from Dulhan we get Dumhal Dulahan and if you want to introduce the dance in that so Dulahan dancing in the bhakti of Lord Vittal in a boat so Dumahal by Vattal tribes in Jammu and Kashmir is a folk dance second is Damali this is a temple dance performed by men in Jammu and Kashmir from Damali we get Damini Damali to Damini. Damini was a very hit movie of Sunny Deol. Uh, if you have not seen that, you can see that one. So Sunny Deol movie Damini. Okay, so Damini moving and getting shot in boat. Okay. Third dance is Hikkat. Hikkat, it is in harvest festival. So anything related with the environment or agriculture, that dance becomes very important for us. So Hikkat becomes high cat okay he cut if you divide this word it becomes hi cat you're saying hi to a cat saying hi to a cat in a boat is good for harvest so again see that picture in your mind you are traveling in a boat you are saying hi to a cat and you are seeing so many people saying hi to the cat and they're saying they're doing this because it's a ritual and they believe after this after saying hi to the cat they will get a very good harvest the second state is Haryana and our picture for Haryana as you know is Yana Gupta. 
dance which we have to remember for this is dhamal and dance during sowing season again an important point to note from dhamal we get dhamal dhamal if you all hindi friends i think might be knowing dhamal is a movie it was a movie and then there was a sequel of dhamal it was dhamal dhamal so dhamal yana gupta is making dhamal is doing dhamal or is acting in the movie dhamal okay so dhamal becomes dhamal so very close uh, early looking words uh, dhumhal becomes dulhan damali becomes movie damni and then dhamal so these three folk dances first two of jammu and kashmir dulhan and damani related to boat and dhamal that is dhamal related to yana gupta and it is also agriculture festival during the sowing season and you can see here yana gupta in the movie dhamal uh, sowing seeds then uh, the next state is gujarat gujarat is very famous we know for garba dandiya ras garbi is same as garba but for men with different footworks and then we have ghiriya rasa so no need for the morning this we all know gujarat is famous for uh, dandiya ras garba and from garba it is garbi then comes maharashtra three important dances to remember from maharashtra one is lavini maharashtra we picture we all know is sachin tendulkar the legend and first dance is lavini lavini from lavini we get love okay sachin tendulkar loves to dance okay and you can see a picture where sachin tendulkar is dancing so sachin tendulkar loves to dance so sachin tendulkar love is lavini and dance is a dance form of maharashtra dahi kala dahi is a hindi word for curd and kala is a hindi word for color black so black curd somebody gave black curd to sachin tendulkar and sachin tendulkar liked it so much that he started dancing so again you can see a black curd in front of you now okay see the clear picture where somebody is offering black curd to sachin tendulkar then sachin tendulkar liked it so much because he had it for the first time black curd is not so usual or common so black curd is kala dahi we are relating it with sachin tendulkar third one is dindi another very important folk dance to be remembered from maharashtra dindi from dindi we get danda danda is a hindi word for stick so sachin tendulkar dancing with stick okay or dancing with a stick and he used stick as his bat he is so proficient in playing cricket next state is himachal pradesh himachal pradesh is hp hp is hp laptop okay and dance which we have to remember for himachal pradesh is naati and naati uh, is a hindi word for a uh, small height person so nata naati we say in hindi that person ye bahut nata hai ye bahut naati hai small height person so hp laptop a very good for the small height people naati people or nata people then comes to rajasthan rajasthan is a place full of culture you will find so many paintings so many dances so many folk cultures in rajasthan so rajasthan is very important first one is jhumar jhumar is a form of lighting if you go to uh, old havelis and all on the ceilings you will see jhumar different kind of beautiful lighting so jhumar uh, rajasthan our picture is camel so you can see jhumars on camel and during a festival uh, camel are being decorated with jhumars different kinds of lighting jhumar lightings second is kachchi ghodi this is a dance form where man uh, dances on dummy horses so dummy horses kachchi ghodi ghodi uh, ghoda is a hindi word for horses so you can link now horses with camel so man on dummy horses kachi ghodi uh, is a folk dance of rajasthan then tera tali uh, in this tera tali uh, men play four stringed instrument called chautara and women strike the 
sibyls. So this is actually a contrast. Normally, uh, men play the sibyls and all, but then in this tera tali, men play four string instrument called chautara, while women strike the sibyls. Coming to the next state, which is West Bengal, our picture for West Bengal, Mamta Banerjee. The first one is Kati. Now, second time this Kati is coming. If you remember for Kathakali, Kathakali also we have Kati characters. Now, Kati dance with stick, same like what we see in uh, Gujarat and Garba and all. So, Kati is a West Bengal folk dance in which also there is a dance with sticks. So, you can see now Mamta Banerjee dancing with kathi dolls in his hands okay and he she is using these kathi dolls as sticks so kathi dance with sticks second uh, folk dance for his bengal it is vrita or vrita dance uh, this dance happens when woman conceives okay when woman conceives a child uh, so from vrita we get vrat vrat is a hindi word for fasting he is on fasting वो व्रत करता है सो व्रता बिकम्स फास्टिंग सो ममता बैनर्जी फास्ट इट अलॉट टू फॉर टू कंसीव अट वी ऑल नो शी इज नॉट मैरिड बट स्टिल लाइक देर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग इन इमेजिनिंग एंड रिमेम्बरिंग सर्टिंग थिंग्स सो ममता बैनर्जी और वेस्ट बंगाल वी आर लिंकिंग इट विथ व्रता और व्रत और फास्टिंग विच इज अ डांस coming to the next state which is uttar pradesh our image for uttar pradesh is mulayam singh yadav mulayam singh yadav the first dance which we have to remember for uttar pradesh it is dhudang and it is performed by doms and bhotia tribes connected with death ceremony so this is again a very interesting point connected with death ceremonies dhudang dang so dhudang uh, it becomes dhul rang so dhul from dhu and rang becomes rang so dhul is dust okay dhul is a hindi word for dust and rang is color we know so color of a dust color of dust is uh, brown we all know soil a dust it is uh, brown so dhu rang now we have to link it with mulayam singh yadav and doms and bhotia tribes so from doms we get dams and bhotia we get bhut or ghost so dhudang dhudang becomes dhul rang that is the color of dust okay we are linking it with mulayam singh yadav dance on death ceremonies by domes and bhutia tribes where domes is dams and bhutia is goats now you are very much capable of linking these images the second dance which we want to remember for uttar pradesh it is kajri dance and it is a thanksgiving after good crop so again it becomes very important linked with ecology or agriculture so kajri becomes kajra and kajra becomes gajra gajra is uh, this kind of thing which women wear uh, uh, on their head so kajra gajra so women dance uh, you see a woman where she is dancing with the kajra with a special focus special effect on uh, the gajra what she is wearing and she is dancing after the good crop coming to assam a very important state a very important state in terms of the folk culture the first dance is bihu bihu and image for bihu for us will be bahu bahu Uh, daughter in law so famous bahu of hindi serials is dish akshara okay you might not be knowing if you're not seeing the daily uh, soaps but bihu becomes bahu for us and bahu is daughter in law so you can see whatever where the image you want for daughter in law bihu is one of the dance and you can now link bihu or bahu with assam and for us assam the picture is assam t so daughter in law preparing tea uh, while she is dancing okay so you went to the kitchen and your the bahu or the daughter in law uh, is dancing and preparing the tea second uh, important uh, uh, dance which you have to remember for assam is is chaudhang husairi chaudhang husairi it is a festival of ahom tribe so chaudhang we get chaudhri 
okay and from Chaudhuri we get Chacha Chaudhuri I think we all are knowing Chacha Chaudhuri a very famous tune character uh, the comic character uh, Chacha Chaudhuri and Sabu you might have uh, that so many uh, uh, comics uh, based on Chacha Chaudhuri so Chacha Chaudhuri and Ahum being Om okay so now three images Chacha Chaudhuri plus Om which is the Ahum tribe plus T so link three images and it will be in there your mind for always so Chaudang Husari festival of Ahum tribe so these things we will again cover when we will discuss specifically about each tribe and that is going to be a very important uh, written material for you because this is a difficult part uh, for students to crack in UPSC in numerous tribes in numerous dance in numerous festivals how to compile them at a single place so uh, we are making an attempt and that will be uh, with the Pakka mnemonics also so it is going to be very important for you the third dance for Assam it is Khamba Limb Khamba Limb again it is a festi uh, it is a dance which uh, Assam people do during harvest from Khamba okay it is pole Khamba is a Hindi word for pole kya khambe jaisa khada hai so Khamba is a pole like a electricity pole it's we call as bijli ka Khamba okay so Khamba Limb it is a dance during harvest and Khamba is pole you relate it with T now uh, after so many mnemonics uh, sessions uh, you should automatically pick up the pictures uh, which is which comes to your mind before and link them up and now I think you might be aware of the power of these linking of pictures so you link pictures you see pictures and the only condition is you have to revise them uh, in certain period which we have discussed 12 hours 24 hours and 36 hours then you don't forget it Another important dance is Keli Gopal uh, of Assam. Keli Gopal is Khel Gopal. From Keli we get Khel, Khel Gopal. Gopal is another word of Lord Krishna. So Lord Krishna dances uh, to get tea. Okay. Normally uh, Lord Krishna dances to get makhan, but here Lord Krishna dances to get tea. So Keli Gopal or Khel Gopal. Another very important dance is Mishing Bihu, very very important, and it can be asked any year in UPSC. Uh, this is during Ali Ali Lignos festival of Mishmi tribe, and it depicts various stages of cultivations from sowing to reaping. So very important part to remember. Mishing Bihu, Bihu we already have an image. Bahu, daughter-in-law, and Mishing becomes Missing. Okay missing bahu missing bahu and mish me tribe becomes miss me okay you miss me miss me tribe so now we have pictures miss me missing bahu and festival of assam and it depicts various stage of cultivation from sowing to reaping so you can take a break link these images according to you like whatever you find convenient and let it be there in your mind come to this stage which is Bihar okay Bihar our image is Nitish Kumar the first uh, dance here is the Cha Chau or Chau okay very very important dance like Mishing Bihu same as Chau it's going to be asked in the year in UPSC from now so it literally means shadow or the mask dance Chau uh, uh, it's a Hindi word Chaya actually which means shadow okay shadow of a tree Ped ki Chaya mein so shadow or the mask dance there are three streams of this dance uh, first is Serei Kela which is in the state of uh, Bihar then Mayur Bhanj which is in the state of Odisha and then Puduliya which is in the state of West Bengal these days Mayur Bhanj Odisha it has evolved to a modern dance so Mayur Bhanj Odisha you link it with Chachau or Chau Chau dance so if they are going to ask you Chachau dance uh, is from which state and option is Odisha then you have to write Odisha 
Second is Jadud, it is performed by Odon Twipe. From Jadud, we get Jadu, and Odon Twipe becomes Odian fans. Okay, Odon, we get Odian fans. So, Jadu, you relate it with Odian friends. So, Odian friends are like Jadu, it's like magic. They never go faulty. The third is Jata Jatin. It is again a very important dance. Jata Jatin of Bihar. Or uh, we can take it as Jata Jatin. Jatin is going somewhere. Where he is going to meet Nitish Kumar. Fourth dance is Sadapul. And it is the summer dance of same Odean tribe. Odean of images Odean fans. Sad bull is Sad of bull. Sad is a Hindi word for head. So head of the bull. So you can see the head of the bull. It is made up of Odian fan. Okay. Sad bull is a tribal dance. Summer dance of tribe Odon. Paika. Paika is a war dance of Munda and Odon tribes. So Munda becomes Sid. Okay. Munda. And Odon is Odion fans and Paika becomes Pesa and this is the war dance okay so you can relate all these pictures now war dance of Munda and Odon tribes and Paika is Paisa so Paisa you relating it with Munda and Odon tribes next state is Tamil Nadu Tamil Nadu first important dance is Kolattam and it is very important very similar to Garba of Gujarat very important again very very important dance Kolattam so from Kolattam we get Kol you relate it with Garba of Gujarat and Tamil Nadu picture is Rajini Kant Poikal Kutthi Rai it is a dummy horse dance like what we saw for the case of Rajasthan if you remember Kachi Ghodi same is Poikal Kutthi Rai which is also dummy horse dance of Tamil Nadu again important Puli Vesham okay tiger disguise dance by Muslim where the, the men they disguise in the uniform of uh, tiger okay and this is again a Tamil Nadu dance Puli Vesham coming to Kerala Kerala again like Rajasthan you have lot of folk cultures lot of paintings lot of dances lot of theater groups okay so first one is Otan to Kal Otan to Al difficult words to pronounce how to remember that Otan to Lal so it is Poor's Man Kathakali so again very very important Poor's Man Kathakali Theyam again a very important dance Theyam so Theyam becomes Deyam they are yummy what are yummy Kadelas are yummy For O tent to learn, we can write O tent. Okay, O tent related with Kadila. So O tent to L. O tent to L, poor man's Kathakali and Thiyam. Then coming to the last state uh, for now, Chhattisgarh. And Chhattisgarh, the dance is Salia. And from Salia, we get Salad. We get Salad and Chhattisgarh was Chhattis is 30th is it is mug so eating salad in a mug so we are going a bit fast in the mnemonics part and it is important also these mnemonics has to be very fast uh, we were very slow in the starting because that time our mind was getting tuned to these things but now as and when now our mind is already tuned in we need to be very fast and we should believe our mind that it is catching all the words so uh, here we finish the Indian dance part and uh, some of the other dances also like for the different tribes we are going to cover in the written part which we are going to give you in form of downloadable PDF. Now second part of Indian art and culture it is the Indian paintings. Again a uh, very important part for UPC and very easy also. Again uh, UPC uh, is not expecting us to be a paint critic okay to uh, critic uh, to make comments on the uh, pictures by mf hussain but 
yes we should be knowing the famous painting forms of india the different forms of india why india is famous in paintings the different people who are famous in painting so these all things are required so again we will be focusing on the important points uh, in indian paintings there are two types of paintings if we see uh, in india first are the murals murals and second are the miniatures uh murals are the gigantic works which are done on the walls okay on the walls on the solid walls so murals uh, which are executed on the solid walls so any painting if you see on uh, wall or something like this uh, it is going to be a mural the second are the miniatures which are drawn on the comparatively smaller surface okay it may be a cloth it may be a paper it may be a portrait it may be a silk so murals and miniatures i think this thing is clear the difference between two types of paintings murals which are drawn on the walls and miniatures which are drawn on a smaller surface like what we draw at home uh now let us see the different school of paintings which are there in india and the important uh, attributes of them important points which we should note about them the first school of painting is the bengal school of painting bengal school of painting it originated in the 19th century so from 19th century we can deduce like it was the british raj so whatever work was there uh, during uh, this school of painting it has to be dealt with the nationalist movement okay it has to be dealt with the nationalist ideas one particular name which is very very important it is the abanin abanindranath tagore Abhinendranath Tagore who was a nephew of Rabindranath Tagore and he is a very well known painter and it can be asked in any year from now in UPSC Abhinendranath Tagore famous for paintings okay his best known painting is Bharat Mata like this see you the, you can see this picture where Bharat Mata is being depicted with four arms like the hindu goddesses so this is the best known painting of Abhinendranath Tagore uh, who was a nephew of Rabindranath Tagore so Rabindranath Tagore uh, we linked it with Manipuri dance also if you remember okay manipuri dance he popularized manipuri dance and he also introduced this manipuri dance in his university uh, shanti niketan so best known painting is bharat mata and this school of painting was inspired by the nationalist ideas this is what you need to remember about the bengal school of painting now coming to the second school of painting which is the mughal school of painting is starting from humayu humayu was two painters from persia mir sayyad ali and abdus samad okay two painters from persia me sayyad ali and abdus ahmed samad for that in medieval history uh, humayu died really early uh, after falling from the library so then came akbar akbar set up a separate department of painting and the first great work of mughal school of painting it was tuti nama tuti is uh, tota that is parrot so tales of parrot it has 52 stories and 250 miniature paintings and this tuti nama is in now uh, cleveland uh, museum of art so these are some of the pictures from tuti nama in which actually what happens this tuta this uh, tuti that is parrot or tota used to tell uh, to women they did different stories and uh, this uh, parrot used to warn uh, the women like not to indulge in extra material affairs in the absence of their husbands so these are the different uh, pictures from the same tuti nama where this man using scot uh, chopping the head down of this uh, woman uh, similarly this parrot is saying something this to this woman again this uh, uh, parrot saying something so this is tuti nama very important name so first great work of uh, mughal school of uh, paintings uh, and it came up during the reign of uh, akbar who set up a different department of painting as well uh, mughal school of painting reaches pinnacle during jahangir uh, particularly miniature paintings here we are talking about not the mural paintings so jahangir we already know is famous for the painting uh, using mnemonics also we linked jahangir what which was janzeer okay the chain 
So Jahangir is famous for the paintings. Uh, themes were the scenes from the uh, Mughal court life, wildlife, battle fronts, and lovers. And in this uh, school of uh, painting, we see the predominance of realism. Okay, and real human beings were illustrated rather than imaginary figures. You can see this picture again, uh, a court, and uh, these are the courtyards. It's the king. They are discussing something, writing down. So, this is all we need to know about the Mughal school of uh, painting. We come to the third school of painting, which is the Rajput school of painting. Rajput school of painting we can divide into two. One is the Rajasthani style and one is the Pahari style. So, Rajasthani school of painting, we see different school of paintings uh, in Rajasthan, different places, and then the Pahari style of painting. Now coming to the Rajasthani school of painting, the first one important is the Kishangar school of painting. Kishangar is the name of place in Rajasthan. So wherever the place, uh, the painting got evolved, uh, that was called as that school of painting. So Kishangar was the place where this form of painting evolved and so it is known as the Kishangar school of painting. Uh, important things which we need to remember about Kishangar school of painting is one name which is Nihal Chand who was in the court of Maharaja Savant Singh. And these paintings were based on the theme of Radha Krishna. And in this paintings, Radha is modeled on Bani Thani. Very important term to remember. And this is also known as India's Mona Lisa. So you can see this figure. This is Radha Bani Thani by Nihal Chand. And you can see here the a pointed nose, pointed chick. So this is very important. Uh, Kishangar school of painting is known for uh, Nihal Chand who modeled Radha as Bani Thani. Okay, Bani Thani means uh, uh, a well uh, prepared or the well make up. Okay, Bani Thani, and also known as India's Mona Lisa. So very important that thing you have to remember. The second is uh, the Madhavar school of painting. Uh, this is the area of Jodhpur and Bekane. And this Madhavar school of painting is famous for its Usta style. Okay, Usta style, which is a painting on wooden panes, door panels and camel heights. You can see this picture. Okay, so on the wooden paints it is known as the Usta style. So Mawa school of painting you link it with the Usta style. Third school of painting in the Rajasthan it is the Bundi school of painting and this is the area of Bundi and Kota in Rajasthan. It is famous for the Ragmala and Badamasa paintings. So Ragmala is something which uh, in which pictures depicts all the Ragas and Raganis uh, in their pictures. And Badamasa, it means uh, it depicts all 12 months in pictures. Like from January to December, they will depict different months, what is the climate there, what is the mood of the person in that month. So Badamasa means 12 months painting. So this Bundi school of painting, famous for the Akmala and Badamasa paintings, depicts the moods of man and woman, time of the day, season, ragas and Raganis. So this is a typical Bundi school of painting in which you see, can see uh, men and women romancing on the terrace and uh, this is a night time probably. So this is how Bundi school of painting is famous. Uh, the fourth school of painting and the Rajasthani school of painting it is the Shekhavati wall paintings. Uh, here the fresco painters were called Chitras. Uh, this fresco it means art of painting on fresh moist plaster with pigments dissolved in water so it is also mural mural paintings anything done on wall so fresco painting means art of painting on fresh moist plaster with pigments pigments is some color like which you uh, add to the water to add color to the picture so shekhavati wall paintings so this was about the Rajasthani school of painting, uh, which was under definitely Rajput style of painting. Now second uh, type of painting under Rajput uh, painting, it is the Pahadi school of painting. So Pahadi school of painting, it is the umbrella expression which is used for the Indian painting from North Himalayan kingdoms, originated from Himalayan kingdom during 17th and 19th century, based on the themes of Radha Krishna, motivated by Jaya Deva's Gita Govind. You will find this particular name and book uh, again and again 
whenever you will talk about the love of Radha and Krishna so this is a very famous book Jaya Deva's Gita Govind and if you remember the mnemonic for that Jaya Deva becomes Jaya Bachchan and Jaya Bachchan was reading Gita Bhagavad Gita so Jaya Deva's Gita Govind so pictures based on the life of Rama Krishna Rama and Krishna Lord Rama and Lord Krishna not Ram Krishna okay so greatly inspired by Bhakti movement Pahari school of painting also famous for extensive use of shading which is the gradation of color and darkness okay shading means color and darkness like suppose uh, it's very white then you go to red then you go to yellow so different gradations extensive use of shading please don't go uh, into much detail of these things just focus on what uh, we are telling you now uh, uh, because there are very very less chances 99% of the chances nothing will go outside of uh, these things under Pahari school of painting uh, we have Basholi school of painting which was the first school of painting Pahari painting uh, Bhanu Dattas Rasa Manjiri is the most famous so Bhanu Datta one name and his work Rasa Manjari this is one of the Rasa Manjari painting is most famous what you have to remember about Basholi school of painting then comes the Kuler, Guler and Kangra school of painting which was evolved from the Basholi school of painting these Guler and Kangra school of paintings were most poetic and lyrical and stylist naturalistic like you can see this picture blossoming plants leafless trees creepers a different type of creepers lightning storms etc so Guler and Kangra school of painting this is a typical painting where style is very naturalistic now they are depicting nature very well Pandit Siyu and Manka and Nensuk are the famous painters very important names to remember Pandit Siyu Manku and Nensok, very important. They were from Pahari school of painting, Kuler and Kangra. Uh, after finishing uh, now the Rajput style of painting, we come to the Mesur school of painting. And what you need to remember about the Mesur school of painting is the famous for Gesso work. Gesso work is this golden work, extreme golden work the shiny part of the images so Mesut school of painting famous for the gesso work then the Tanjur school of uh, painting famous for the paintings on wooden plank thus also known as Palagai Padam Palagai means wooden plank and Padam means picture so this is a typical picture of Tanjur where the, uh, uh, the painters draw on the wooden plank and this wooden plank is known as Palagai so Palagai Padam it's very important then we come to the folk uh, paintings of India the first one is Madhubani paintings uh, very important types of paintings uh, these were originated in a little village known as Maithali in Bihar and uh, folk women used to draw these paintings on the walls of their homes and they used bamboo sticks with vats of cottons but this now uh, this Madhubani paintings they are commercially also available and do they are doing quite well commercially also so the Madhubani paintings worldly paintings these are type of wall paintings okay uh, these are the unique art form of Adivasi worldly tribes of Maharashtra point to be noted worldly tribes of Maharashtra that is why they have got the worldly name uh, stick like uh, figures of people you can see these uh, uh, pictures like these stick like people okay animal and trees uh, form a loose rhythmic pattern across the wall depicting the everyday life of the people and their monochromatic uh, descriptions okay like there are two colors only you can see these pictures red and white and they are highly repetitive in nature okay Th there is a pattern you can see this pattern following so this are the worldly paintings uh, another uh, important painting from Rajasthan Rajasthan we have so many paintings uh, one is the Fud painting 
it is a form of cloth painting so painting done on a piece of cloth uh, it focuses on the local Rajasthani heroes like Prathviraj Singh Chauhan and Pabuji. Pabuji is a uh, local uh, hero. There are so many legends about Pabuji in Rajasthan. So these fad paintings are the cloth paintings and these are based, uh, you will find the stories and legends of Prathviraj Singh Chauhan and Pabuji's etc. These furs are carried by singer priests known as Bhopas. Okay, so if you go to temples, normally you'll find uh, they uh, take these idols uh, in the shrine and they take a round of the shrine and then they will come back again. So during these uh, time, uh, these furs or these cloth paintings are carried by the priests, singers who are known as Bhopas. Okay, when they transport their deities in the shrine or they are taking a round with the deities in the shrine. So, fat paintings are the cloth paintings. Patachitra painting of Bengal and Odisha. These are again a type of cloth painting. Pata means uh, cloth and chitra means picture. So, pictures on a cloth. So, Patachitra paintings of Bengal and Odisha are also very famous. Talpatra chitra. Talpatra is palm leaf. So, Odisha is famous for its palm leaf painting, very very important. So, you can fix a mnemonic here, Talpatra means palm leaf and palm leaf, Odisha our picture is Jagannath Puri. So, when you went to Jagannath Puri, you saw so many uh, beautiful painted palm leaves. So, very important. So, next painting now is the Gond paintings. Uh, Gond is a tribe uh, in, in and around Madhya Pradesh in the adjoining states. So Gond paintings, what we have to remember is this particular gentleman, Jangan Singh Sham, and uh, uh, he was the first person who trained the entire village Patangad in MP in this particular Gond paintings, and his son. Jangan Singh Sham son Bhajju Sham is also a globally famous artist for his work The London Jungle Book and Tree of Life. So two names Jangan Singh Sham and Bhajju Sham. Bhajju Sham famous for his work London Jungle Book and Tree of Life. So London Jungle Book and Tree of Life it is based on the Gone paintings. Pichwai paintings. Okay, Pichwai uh, means at the back. So these are the creations on the piece of cloth. Again, a cloth painting, which hangs in the form of background to Shrinathji idols at Nathdwara Temple. So again, the same uh, the idols of the deities uh, uh, they go for the round in the shrine, and behind the idol there are certain cloth paintings. Okay, and these. Pichwai at the back, at the back of the idols of the deities. Pichwai paintings, again a Srinathji temple at Rajasthan only. So Pichwai paintings at Rajasthan, uh, which are also cloth paintings. Uh, Kalam Kari, uh, Kalam is a Hindi word for pen. Painting on the cloth using a bamboo pen. You can see this particular person. He's there's a piece of cloth and using a bamboo pen. He's drawing there. So kalamkadi is a very important art of uh, painting, which is practiced in AP, Andhra Pradesh. Our picture biryani. Link biryani with kalamkadi or kalam, which is pen. So you're eating biryani with pen. Something you can relate. Uh, some Buddhist paintings. First one is Mopna painting. For Mopna, we get Mop. Related with Sikkim. Sikkim is Kim Sharma. And Buddhist painting. So anything related with Buddhism, Jainism, anyway, becomes very important for UPSC. And the second one is Thangana paintings. These are the scroll paintings on silk. Okay. So very important. It's a form of silk painting and says scroll painting. It means like uh, if you draw something on silk, if you're not using it, you can scroll it back. Okay, and whenever you need it again, you can uh, roll it back. So, Thangna paintings are the scroll paintings on silk. One again, very important name which you have to remember is Raja Ravi Varma. Uh, he was known for his oil paintings, and famous work is 
naya lady adorning her hair so this is the famous oil painting of raja ravi verma naya lady adorning her hair uh, he is not uh, any more alive he died in 1906 only raja ravi verma but was a very famous very uh, beautiful oil painter so uh, this was about the uh, mostly about the miniature paintings uh, we'll again revise it back for some 10 15 minutes so we was we were a bit fast because there were hardly factual informations and uh, the only important information which you need to focus not more than that now we come to the murals um, certain places where we find a uh, murals a uh, first one is ajanta murals Ajanta uh, known for his mural paintings depicting the events from the life of Buddha and Jataka stories so Ajanta you, in Ajanta you will find buddhist paintings so these are particularly buddhist paintings once uh, you will see the elora they have hindus they have jainism paintings they have buddhist uh, caves so it's a mixture there but Ajanta you have buddhist pictures only Ajanta, we uh, totally have thirty number of caves, and the caves number nine, ten, nineteen, twenty-six, twenty-nine are Chaityas, while the rest are Viharas. You all know what are Chaityas and what are Viharas. If you have done the Buddhist uh, part, a cave number eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen are Hinaya caves, while other belong to Mahayana. Again, Mahayana and Hinayana, you must be knowing. You need not remember these caves number like this. Okay. but there are the total of 30 caves and certain caves are uh, vihara satena chaityas and certain belongs to the hinayana period and later hinayana it means no buddha image while mahayana you will find the images of buddha uh, this is cave number 1 of ajanta uh, image of bodhisattva padma pani avalok kitesh vada very very important uh, holding a lotus flower and vajrapani holding thunderbolt so you can see this uh, bodhisattva uh, padma pani this is a very important term holding a lotus flower in his hand avalok kitesh vada and uh, you'll find these paintings again in bag temples bark caves so it's a very important term and uh, we have to remember for upsc avalok kitesh vada cave number 2 oh, we see mother's dream of six tusk elephant you must be knowing like the buddha story when uh, buddha was getting birth her mother saw the dream of uh, white elephant uh, cave number 3 and 5 were never completed Cave number four is the largest vihara at Ajanta, and statue depicting people fleeing from eight great dangers. Cave number six, the only double-story vihara. Cave number ten, oldest cave, largest chaitya hall. Cave number sixteen, it is very important. Best known of Ajanta, dying prince Sundari, also known as Janpat Kalyani, and statue of Buddha reaching eightfold path. Uh, this is the picture of dying prince, dying princess. Okay, cave number sixteen. So how you relate it now? Cave number sixteen. Sixteen is sweet sixteen candy, sweet candy, and princess is dying to get this sweet candy. Okay, this is how you have to relate all of the caves. Cave number seventeen. A uh, princess surrounded by attendants applying makeup, mural painting, and Buddha came to beg at his own home. So this is Yashoda. This is Rahul, the son of uh, Buddha, and Buddha came here to beg at his own home. Cave number seventeen. So how you relate? Seventeen is magazine. Buddha came to beg for the magazine in his house. Cave number sixteen again a very important cave. It is reclaiming King Buddha, which is Mahapari Nirvana when Buddha died. So this is the statue which is there at cave number twenty six. So these all are the caves which you have to remember uh, for Ajanta murals. Then we come to Elora. 
uh, there are total of 34 caves in which 17 are Hindu, 12 are Buddhist and 5 are Jains. The biggest highlight of Elora is cave number 16 which is the Kalasha temple which is the world's largest monolithic temple. So this monolithic it means made from single stone, cut from the single stone. So Kalasha temple it is cave number 16. 16 again sweet candy you have to relate it with Kalash. Uh, another are the Bagh caves. Uh, these are situated on the Bagh river which is a tributary of Narmada river in uh, MP. A total of 9 caves. The most important cave is the cave number 4 which is also known as Rang Mahal. A famous painting of Avalokiteshvara Padmapani. Again the cave number 1 if you remember for Ajanta that uh, person holding uh, uh, lotus in his hands this one it's a very important picture very important picture should be knowing it by name Avlok Kiteshwar that means holding a lotus flower and Vajrapani that is holding thunderbolt and these bark caves uh, were used by the Buddhist monks as Viharas then the last one is Sita Navasal in Tamil Nadu. These are also famous for rock cut temples and Jain murals uh, like this. So Sita Navasal in Tamil Nadu. So here uh, we end the Indian paintings part. We have covered all the important Indian paintings and all the important names what you need to remember for Indian paintings very very less chances that anything will come outside that but still you keep a watch on the current affairs if anything comes new uh, in the news on the Hindu newspaper or any magazine you should be knowing it let's have a let's have a very quick recap of what we have done uh, till now uh, in the paintings we have gone uh, point to point what we need to remember uh, two types of paintings murals and the miniatures murals are the paintings which are done on the solid walls <coughs> miniatures are the paintings which are done on the smaller surface it may be a paper it may be cloth it may be a silk uh, certain school of uh, paintings which we need to remember first was the Bengal school of painting one very important name uh, you have to keep in mind it is the Apinindranath Tagore the nephew of Rabindranath Tagore and his painting Bharat Mata see this painting Bharat Mata uh, Bharat Mata which four arms Mughal school of painting Tuti Nama Okay, Tuti Nama, you have already seen these different uh, images, uh, stories of uh, a parrot, okay, uh, different stories which a parrot uh, tells to the lonely wives. Uh, then Akbar, who set up the separate department for painting, uh, Jahangir, uh, who is really known as the, uh, uh, during whose Rikin, actually uh, the painting, miniature paintings reads its and pinnacle. Uh, then Rajput paintings, Kishangar painting, uh, famous Nihal Chan and his Mona Lisa or uh, Radha modeled on Panithani. Mewar school of painting, famous for Usta style. Bundi school of painting, Raag Mala and Baramasa paintings. Shekhavati paintings which are the wall paintings, not the miniature paintings, wall paintings. Okay, These are the Frisco painters were called Chitras in Shekhavati wall painting. Pahari school of painting, Bashoi school of painting, Guled and Kangra school of painting, certain very important names, Manuku, Nainsuk and Pandit Siu. Uh, Mysore school of painting, Giso work, this golden and silver work. Tanjore school of painting, Palagai Padam. Palagai is wooden plank and Padam is picture. So, Madhubani paintings, very important, Methali, Bihar. Worldly, worldly tribes. You know? Uh, stick like people uh, same pattern which is repeated uh, again a wall painting fud painting which is a cloth painting uh, uh, in Rajasthan Patachitra Patachitra again cloth painting in Bengal and Odisha Talapatra Chitra which is palm leaf painting of Odisha Gon painting one very important name Jangan Singh Sham and his son Bhaju Sham Pichwai paintings, Pichwai means at the back, so Pichwai paintings uh, again at Rajasthan. Uh, Kalamkari, that is uh, using the bamboo pen uh, painting on cloth, that is in AP.
Buddhist paintings, uh, Mopna painting in Sikkim and Thagna painting in which are the scroll paintings on silk related to Buddhism, Raja Ravi Padma known for his oil paintings like this. Uh, then murals, uh, different murals, Ajanta murals, we have seen key in number one, very important name, Avalok Kiteshwara, okay, holding a lotus flower and Vajjaprani holding thunderbolt in cave number one, same thing we saw in the Bagh caves also, okay, cave number two, cave number three and four, cave number, f cave number three and five, never completed, cave number four, largest Vihara, then Dying Prince, we saw the picture of Dying Prince, this num cave number 16, cave number 17, Buddha begging and princess uh, surrounded by attendants applying makeup, cave number 26, Maha Pari Nirvanam of uh, Buddha. Then Elora, Ajanta were Buddhist, Elora, they have mixture of Hindus, Buddhists and Jains. Uh, the famous or the highlight of Elora is the cave number 16 which is the Kalasha temple, world's largest monolithic temple, Bark Caves and then Sita Navasal. So we have tried covering everything, now, now next we are going to start with Indian music and musical instruments. Uh, after that this session we will finish but this art and culture is a continuous part in history. So whenever we are, we are going to discuss any particular period in history that historical period has to be supported by its architecture and literature we have already covered a lot of books under literature uh, in ancient history in medieval history mnemonics we have covered a lot of books okay so that will be sufficient uh, for the literature part for the religious part uh, also we have covered in very good detail uh, Jainism Buddhism and Hinduism the Vedic literature so uh, architecture also now when we are going to start the remaining lectures of history of ancient history uh, of ancient India and uh, medieval India we are going to cover the architecture part also so next uh, part for the art and culture now it will be Indian music and uh, music instruments after that by 15 December it will be uh, the different tribes uh, of India and uh, important informations which are required for Indian tribes thanks for watching